Now that you know the safety rules, now we can get into the actual game procedures so we can get out and go play. All the players are going to be divided into two teams. Each team will start at their own flag station. The object of the game is to capture the other team's flag and return it to your flag station without being marked by a paintball. Yeah! yeah! Woo! If you get hit by a paintball and it leaves a mark on you a dime size or larger, you are eliminated from the game. It can hit you anywhere on your person, from top of the head, bottom of the foot, small finger on your hand, you're eliminated. If it hits any of the equipment that you're carrying, like your paintball marker, you are eliminated from the game. If you're hit by your own teammates, that counts. You're still eliminated. Just remember, friendly fire isn't. Sorry! Sorry. The rest of you will get it later. Sometimes a paintball will hit you, and it will bounce off of you rather than break on you. If this happens, you're still in the game. Keep playing. A lot of times, a paintball will break on whatever you're using as cover and cover you with little flecks of splatter. If that happens, you are not out. The ball must hit you directly and break. However, if you have a large accumulation of splatter on your person, we will call you out on that. When you are hit by a paintball and it leaves a mark on you, you are eliminated from the game. First thing you want to do is yell hit or out very loud and not just once. Keep repeating it. Keep in mind you're wearing a face mask and you've got this big piece of plastic in front of your face, so it's going to be a lot harder to hear you than during normal speech. Next thing you want to do is wave your paintball marker in the air to signify to everybody that you are eliminated. They can see better than they can hear. Make sure they see you. Once they stop shooting in your general direction, take out your barrel blocking device, put it in the end of the paintball marker. This signifies you are eliminated. Put your paintball marker over your head and proceed off the field. Sometimes you might get shot more than once on your way off the field. That happens. There's not really a lot that we can do about that. The best thing you can do is keep the paintball marker over your head to signify your elimination and keep on yelling that you are hit or out. And move quickly off the field. Most of the games that we play here are capture the flag. If you capture the flag and you are carrying it, it must remain out in the open at all times. You may not hide it or ball it up or roll it up or stick it in your pants or stick it down in a pocket or something like that. It has to be visible. If you are marked while you are carrying the flag, you must stand still and hold the flag until another player or the judge can take the flag from you. Now this doesn't mean that you have to stand there and take paintballs for your team you are allowed to go to the side and get out of the line of fire if that's what you need to do. You may move a reasonable distance away from where you got shot, but you can't go forward and you can't go backward. Once the flag has been taken from you, put the barrel plug in the end of the paintball marker and exit the field quietly. You are not allowed to move your own flag. If you touch your own flag, you will be eliminated. Wherever the flag is, is where you have to defend it from. So, if the other team captures your flag and their flag runner gets shot, wherever that flag runner was is now where you're defending the flag from. Sometimes when you're wearing the mask and such, everything from about here up disappears. Just because you can't see it because the mask blocks your view. If you get hit someplace where you can't feel it, you can call for a paint check on yourself. How you do that is just yell very loud, paint check. A referee will come over and they will determine whether you are in or out of the game. Now, your own teammates can also assist you on this, so if you have a, a buddy of yours nearby, point to where you think you might have gotten hit and ask them if, they, no, if you did or not. Now, paychecks do not make you a neutral player. You are still in the game. You cannot advance, but you're still going to have people shooting at you. So, don't just stand up if you call for a paint check. Stay behind cover and yell paint check as loud as you can. Paint checks are only intended to be called on yourself, not on opponents. If you think you hit your opponent, tell them where you think you shot them. For example, hey player, check your hopper. This way, they have a chance to check themselves. You can't expect the field judges to run around doing paint checks the entire game. Our primary goal out there is to keep you safe. We're not there to check to see if you hit every person you might have shot a paintball at. A couple things about eliminated players. If you are eliminated, you are not allowed to talk to live players. You are not allowed to pass equipment to live players without a referee's permission. Any live player or players involved in such an infraction will be eliminated at the discretion of the judge. So if you tell your friends about that ambush that's coming up, the referee might just pull all your friends and the ambush kind of worked already. Eliminated players must exit the playing field and return to the main safe area or to the designated staging area as stated by the field judge. When you are eliminated, make sure that you have your paintball marker up in the air and everybody knows that you are eliminated. And always remember, even though you might be out of bounds and in a designated area, 
leave your goggles on at all times on the playing field. And there you go. Let's get out there and go play some paintball.